Is New Coast Boracay reminiscent of how Boracay used to be? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Philippine series. Today we are back in Boracay, and I'm gonna show you a new part of Boracay that brings an essence of what it used to be when I came here as a kid in the 90s. Not as many tourists, and the beaches are a lot less, and we are in the new coast Boracay and staying at Savoy Hotel, which is a really nice hotel right near the new coast beach. And I'm gonna show you the rooms in here, the restaurants, and what they have to offer. There's even this beautiful keyhole that you can see to the ocean. It's awesome. So let us tour around Savoy Hotel and see what they have to offer. All right, we're riding an e-trike to Jollibee because I got my bags with me. It's only 100 pesos and beats a 10 minute sweaty walk and then I'd have to change my clothes when I got to the new hotel. So e-trike it is. All right, so the Jollibee Baraka, it was only like eight minute walk, but much quicker with trike. I'm gonna wait for the free shuttle to New Coast here. They come every 30 minutes. I think there's a 12 and a 12.30, so let's see. So they have a special ube cheese pie here at Jollibee. My first Jollibee food of the trip. Mm, pretty good. It's like a ube halaya with cheese, but it's kind of small. 59 pesos, just over a dollar. Mm. Very good. So this is their hotel lobby. Check-in is over here, and the front is where you get dropped off from the Jollibee at D-Mall. And they have a shuttle about every one and a half hours going to and from there up until about 10 o'clock at night. And then they have a Euronet ATM here, a kids area. Look at that, they got jungle blocks for the kids. They even got some foosball. Look at that, pretty cool. And then there's a little event showroom here in the very corner of the lobby. There's an area here called the VN Lobby lounge it doesn't look like it's open right now but it looks like they have banquets and stuff over here maybe weddings and uh, sweet 16s and it looks like they have a happy hour here from 5 p.m. to 8 they have cocktails for singles 200 pesos 300 pesos for doubles the beers are buy one take one and a beer bucket is 599 the buy one take one is only 300 and then if you need a ride like I said from Savoy to Jollibee D Mall is from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. and then from Jollibee D Mall back here to Savoy voice from 9 30 a.m. to 10 30 p.m. you got to let them know and they also have shuttle service to Cove 2 and New Coast Beach which is just down the way here here's a little more of the lobby and over towards that room space there and then they also got Barakai Adventures Tourist Information Center and then a lot more seating on this side and then your check-in counter is right over this way this hotel is actually a mega world resort this whole area is so Savoy and there's another hotel along the way that is part of the mega world properties so they're taking over not just malls but hotels too so this escalator will take you down to the pool area and then there's a restaurant and lounge let's go check it out i haven't seen it yet myself so this is the savoy cafe and look at this there's a nice pool bar it's called chambry and there are the hotel rooms that overlook it and they got some beach chairs and a nice bar in the middle and then the inside of here is their cafe they also got a nice little jacuzzi here actually it's pretty big and you got a shower there and then the Belmont Hotel is across the way which is closer to the New Coast Beach. There is another area here nobody's even out here. Pool and a little bridge there and a stage looks like they have pool parties here in the summer and that's the hotel itself. Wow they even have tattoos over here look at that tattoo place and looks like they're still building stuff here. It is a mega world lifestyle mall area here. This pool is definitely not open yet. Oh they even got shops over here look at that. It's an actual mall. Of course they'd have a mall here. Barakai New Coast. And you could get ocean packs and all that good stuff so your stuff doesn't get totally messed up. So it's like a little shopping center here. And this place is called Grind. A little bikini shop. They got plenty of things here. Look at this. There's even a Gong Cha. We had Gong Cha over at the SM Ara a few weeks ago. And then this is Oliver Shrimp Shack. Oh, that looks actually really good. And then they got Chef Leo's opening soon. Wow, there is a lot here in Barakai New Coast. Behind these windows is the uh, gym. We'll have to check that out later. And then they have another jacuzzi over here on the opposite side of the pool. All right, let's grab a drink. So this is the Chamberry Pool Bar. 
We're gonna grab one of their signature cocktails. And they do have a nice array of drinks by the pool. So I ended up getting the Savoy Blush. I wanna try their signature drinks while we're here. Oh, it's nice and nice cold. It's got calamansi juice in it with lemon. Tasty. That's like a solid ruby red. This is a sip sip drip drip drink to enjoy by the pool for sure. They got T-Swift playing in the background. Come on now, I can't complain about that. Let's enjoy this for a little bit. Maybe grab some grub and then head down towards the beach. All right, Katie. I'm drinking some San Mig Lights. Nice cold glass, guys. Nice summer day here. We gotta check out the beach though. I gotta put on my uh, beach shorts real quick and let's head down over there. Shout out to JM. Made me a white Russian to go. Looks like it's in a coffee cup, so I'm sure I can walk around with it. Ask for forgiveness before permission. All right guys, you guys know I love salmon. I got the grilled salmon and it was about 500 pesos. It comes with a salad. It looks good though. Oh, we gotta put the, uh, the lemon. Let's dig in to their salmon. I need to eat something better. Mmm, it's pretty good. Let's see what their sauce is. It's like an olive oil. I could use some sriracha though. Mm. Get some salad in here. It's actually pretty good. The helping is not that big, the serving itself, but they do salmon pretty good. I'm definitely gonna have to eat more later, that's for sure. Mm. So they have this chambery pool bar, and the Savoy Cafe. That's really all that's on this property, but across the street, they have more. They even have a wolf gang over there. So I might eat dinner across the street. Mm. Yep, I'm feeling that. 2.48 in the afternoon. We're gonna go check out the beach in about an hour. There's a 7-Eleven here. I didn't see it earlier, but we're for sure getting more food because I'm starving. All right, they got their uh, shopao and the hot dog. I think I'm gonna get that shopao though. Maybe a spicy hot dog. Since new coast is still new, I would suggest you still get cash because uh, even at 7-Eleven, I have to go upstairs now because I don't have cash. Make sure you have pesos here because they don't really accept credit cards. What's that? Made it back to the hotel room. Got the cheddar and sour cream. This is melting real fast, the cornetto, the tuna, Shopao. They gave me Manhattan dressing, ketchup, and Shopao sauce. They said this is Manhattan dressing is basically mustard. So let's see if they're not lying. You are not lying. You are partying. Let's see. Manhattan dressing. Are you mustard? Oh, it's like a cheesy looking. At least it's yellow, yo. That's a good start. Oh, the Shopao's got cold though. Let's try the hot dog. Mmm. It's like a sweet mustard. Let's eat the tuna shopao. Break it in half. Oh yeah. You got that tuna in there. Kain na tayo. Mmm. They do give you the shopao sauce. It's like a sweet, sweet sauce. It's good. Looks like that new 7 Eleven is brand new too. It's all right. All right, we gotta try out this cornetto. For once, it's not ube. It's matcha. Mmm. I'm feeling the cornetto, yo. Super syrup. So to take a tour to the keyhole, you can take a van here for a hundred bucks. Once at 7.30 in the morning and once at four. I took the four, but I barely made it. Uh, I was freaking knocked out, but we made it barely. All right, guys, you made it to the keyhole. And it's just right here. There's a little line for it. And this is the new coast. A little windier here. It's more like the windward side for sure. So when you get here to the keyhole, it's, uh, there's a little line. So you just gotta wait. A little windier over here on this side, but uh, it's cool. At least you don't have to walk all the way here. Believe me, it's a trek. And in this weather, you're gonna wanna just take the van. So we're here at the Keyhole. It's only a couple minutes from the Hotel Savoy. You pay 100 pesos and 
at 7.30 and at 4 o'clock you can come here. They take pictures, takes 10, 15 minutes and then you go right back to the hotel. It's perfect. Very beautiful opening towards the ocean. So make sure you guys check this out. The keyhole here in Nukos Boracay. So this is definitely the windward side of the island. And you do got a little line. It reminds me of Key West in a way <laughs> with the buoy. And then you get to see and that's where the resorts are. If you want to take a walk here, maybe do it in the morning. It's a lot cooler. But for the most part, less than two bucks, take that van so much faster. So Nukos has been developed by Mega World, which is the big shopping chain all around Manila and all around the Philippines. And they are creating a nice little resort area here on the opposite side of Station X, 1, 2, and 3. It's on the opposite side of the island. And if you want a lot less people, you're gonna wanna come here. Just like stations, they just use the numbers of coves. So they have Cove 1, Cove 2, and Cove 3. We're gonna check out a couple of them. The closest Cove to the hotel is Cove 1, obviously, but I think this is uh, Cove 3 right here. So they're basically just kind of sort of White Sands Beach. They're not as sandy, but they're still pretty nice. You technically can see how the coves are separated. There's Cove 1, Cove 2, and Cove 3. Not very big, but if you're here and you see the weather, you're gonna be like, yo, okay, we can't walk that much. But Cove 2 looks like they even have shops and stuff and tents. So uh, we'll, we'll explore that in a little bit. So I had it the other way. Cove 1 is actually the closest towards the keyhole. Cove 2 is the one in the middle and then Cove 3 is the one closest towards the resorts on the right side. All right, so they dropped us off here by Cove 2. This is the Belmont Hotel. Look, they even have a souvenir shop, Bel Baraka New Coast. Sandwich. More rice, please. Not what JJ said. Samalamig Cafe. Pinoy refreshments and street food. Avocado Loco. Hyped mangoes. Anya's Grocer. And Wild Coconut. There's more over this way. And they even have a bar here on the beach. They do have white sands here and then there's like a barrier between the beach and this area right here. It's more of a kitchen over this way. Sugba Boracay. This is Benji Pasalubong. Oh wow, they even have like wick purses. And then this is Sizzling 99 and Kawayan. And then this is the end and then you get over towards the beach. Looks like they're flattening the beach over here. There ain't barely anyone on here. If you're at station one, two, three, or X right now, it's like thousands and thousands of people. But here in New Coast, Boracay, you barely get anybody. Now it's more windy. It's a little more choppier in this water, but a lot less people, but they still also have stands here. And you are just minutes away from your hotels, the Belmont Hotel and Savoy. So I definitely would recommend this for sure. They do manicure the sand over here and they have that little sand zamboni that way. And that's over towards the beautiful keyhole. And if you take one of those island tours, you can take the banca over on this side of the island, but it's a lot more choppy here. I like how they have these bamboo fiberglass shields, probably shielding from when the winds or the surf gets too crazy over here. It helps it stay preserved, I guess. For families, there's a mini playground here and your parents can hang out over in this area. A nice little bar. So if you're looking for a, more of a laid back feel, definitely come over here. 150 pesos for your San Miguel light, but a hey, almost beach view. <laughs> we'll head back in towards uh, Belmont. Tell you what, guys, I just had a couple of beers here at the bar, and the sunset's on the other side of the island. But like, there were only two other people at the bar. So if you're looking for quietness and just wanting to like not have the crowds of the stations here in Boracay, you gotta check out this area. Come here quick because within the next year or so, it's gonna be pretty crazy. And look, all you gotta do is go up that stairwell and you're already at the Belmont. So really nice deal. Cheers, brother. Cheers, Shout out to the UK, man. <laughs> so it's five to eight for their happy hour. Buy one, get one. 200 Philippine pesos. Buy one, get one, gin and tonic? Come on now. I'll be here all night. 
<laughs> for sure. For sure. GNTs, man, all day, every day. This is a nice hotel. It's not even half full, I don't think. I'm starving and I heard Oliver Shrimp Shack is bomb, so we're gonna try it out. Dinner time, we made it here to Oliver Shrimp Shack and it's right here in the Mega World Mall Strip. I heard that the shrimp's amazing and I wanted to try it. It's right next to Savoy, in between Belmont and Savoy and I had to get the garlic and the hot shrimp. Got a sad mega light, some agua, and I'm gonna call it a night after dinner. So we got the garlic, shrimp, and I asked for it to be spicy. So they put peppers in it. The templa is masarap. Had to get rice, obviously. But it's really good. Mm. Comes with lemon. So you gotta lemon it up. That is really good shrimp. Wow. With the spice too. Super syrup. Remember pop open the sand mix too. We're good to go tonight. Good morning, nation. Cheers to y'alls with my new Barakai Starbucks mug. So I just brought my three-in-ones with me and I just heated up water, got some coffee in the room, but they do have filtered water out in the hallway. They do give you a couple of coffee mugs, but they're pretty small and coffee packets, but they're like the whack ones. So I just use my UCC coffee and I was gonna drink this out in the balcony, but it is freaking windy out there. It'd be howling. So once I opened up that sliding door, I was like, nope, stay inside. All right, gotta wake up, then we'll go downstairs, have some breakfast and check out more of Savoy Hotel. So we went into their gym. Looks like they have a couple of pre-core machines here three treadmills, they got a bench press, some free weights, and an incline machine, as well as a chest press over here, and a pull-up bar with some chains too. Off the chains, man. And the view is the pool. They also got some kettlebells right there too. This is the entrance to their spa, and the hallway area is called the Lila Spa. All right, we're going back outside, and the sun is out today, guys. Nice day for a pool day. So we're sticking with the Savoy Cafe, and they have an all-day breakfast, and I got the a la carte. They have a buffet option too, but I didn't get that. All right, guys, so we ended up getting the Tocino breakfast. I ordered it a la carte. I haven't really had Tocino yet in this trip, so I love it. Got it with garlic rice and sunny side up. Mm. It was uh, 550 pesos for this. I could have included the breakfast buffet, but I don't really have much of an appetite in the morning, but I did want to try Tocino. Mm. I also got some of that hot dog. Mm. Pretty good Tocino. Sometimes the Tocino can be too chewy and too hard, but this is good. Sunny side up eggs with some garlic rice. After this trip, I'm going on a no rice diet. Pretty good breakfast here at Savoy Cafe. All right, JK Shares, it is time for the oh so popular room review. So dito kami sa Savoy Hotel in Boracay, New Coast. I got the corner bedroom. Look at this. And although this is like the windward side of the island, it's super windy. You get nice views of the keyhole that overlooks the water. And you also see the old golf course that looks like it's, this part of the course is actually deserted now, it looks like because of this resort. But the golf course is over these bushes somewhere. And I wanted to drink my coffee out here, but it was just way too windy. So what's nice about this hotel, Savoy Hotel, I used my points, so I didn't pay anything, but it's only about 60 to $70, 60 to $80, depending on what room type you get. And I got a nicer room type, so I can have this corner. Thumbs up. I was also comparing the prices from Belmont to this and Belmont was about the same to tell you the truth it was about anywhere from 60 to 90 dollars uh, Belmont does look a little nicer and, and a lot bigger I, mean, I walked through it yesterday I was like this place is huge but I think Savoy has a nicer pool and because it's not too big 
That's what's nice about these two resorts. They're huge resorts, and you don't usually get that in Boracay. In the station hotels, they're not as big. They're not as spacious. They're a little more cramped. But if you want some room to breathe and not as many people, not as many tourists, this is a great place. Uh, this room itself, I ended up getting the two twin beds because that was all that was available for a corner room and I really wanted to check out a corner room and I was hoping to get that keyhole view and I did get it. The camera is on this nice little eating stand where you can have some dinner, maybe go down to 7-Eleven and have some snacks like I did last night. The refrigerator here is clutch. The hot water kettle is really good. You get two glasses and two coffee mugs and a pitcher for your water because the water cooler is just outside so you can get filtered water. They also provide you with some coffee creamer and sugar and this is a nice little blue couch you can hang out and just watch TV on the LG I have HBO hits on right now I couldn't figure out how to turn off the TV though at night and then when I tried turning off the lights it turned off the hallway light and it was flickering I'm not saying this place is haunted but uh, if it was flickering like that and I who knows what this is built over, right? This is New Coast Baraka. You didn't know, who knows what Filipino tribe has been living here all these years. So I did put these two beds together even though I only slept on one side of it. I don't know, just in case I like, fell over or something. I don't understand putting the two beds together because there's a middle crease in there. So, I mean, you're still gonna be sleeping on one side, right? It was all right, it was nice and comfortable. Pillows are fresh, the sheets are fresh. So that's a good thing. You get two nightstands on each side with a drawer and a tissue box and a channel guide and some information on the hotel. They even have a USB outlet as well as regular outlets and when you're here in the Philippines they do have different sizes of the outlets that you could fit it in so like it's basically already a converter for you so that's actually worked out well for me here in the Philippines you don't need to bring your own converters unless you're in a province you might have to so make sure you know where you're gonna be I've mostly been in BGC and Boracay and I didn't need it in any of those places I didn't need a converter in Baguio either over this way you have a nice greenish blue yellow orange multicolored paint on each twin bed you get your telephone here and more information on Savoy Hotel you can get your laundry done for 899 pesos per bag hey if you don't have a washer and dryer that might be the way to go. This area, you have a nice closet space, just no doors, four wooden hangers, a flashlight, which is funny, and the flashlight doesn't even work. The flashlight is pretty much dead. So, look at that. Nothing, it's barely working. But in the closet area, they do give you a luggage stand area where you can put your luggage on, a safe that actually works, and cubby holes here to put your shoes down there. Full length mirror, you got double locks. Now you have to put your room key card into the uh, power switch so that all the power turns on when you're in the room. I tried using another card, but for some reason, I think it's weight censored and the, the room key is a little heavier. So you gotta find something about the same size if you wanna keep it on. And all the light switches, they're all confusing. So mess around with the light switches so you know what turns on and what turns off. But when you try to turn off this light, it starts flickering and that's freaky, man. This light last night was flickering. See, oh, it's flickering again, look. Y'all saw that. All right, bathroom area. Nice, square, spacious shower. Hot water was good and you got hair and body wash that is nailed to the wall for community but they also give you shampoo and conditioner and shower gel you get two dental kits and some body lotion and not that much uh, space for your toiletries down here you got a face towel toilet medium height to the ground you have a bidet <laughs> and your toilet paper right here and all your towels up there here in the Philippines, they don't give you enough towels, in my opinion. Like, they could have added one or two. I'm sure you can always request them. And then there's a hook right here. I put all my swim trunks to dry out. Little floor towel this way too. The sink is a bowl-shaped sink and it has hot and cold water. And that's your bathroom. I mean, look at this view. 60 to 70 bucks for this view. Look at that water. Awesome keyhole. Man, 
This is paradise for sure. Another funny tidbit when I checked in was they made you sign something saying that you will not bring in something that is really pungent to your room like durian and they also said dilis um, like smelly fish. <laughs> I actually thought that was funny. I was like I'll be happy to sign that because durian's nasty. All right vacationers so that will do it here from the Savoy Hotel in Boracay New Coast. I would definitely say if you went to Boracay let's say for four or five nights maybe check in here for one or two nights if you want some quietness and if you want a beach where it is way less crowded albeit it is windier on this side of the island but you do have that nice keyhole this resort and the other resort Belmont Hotel has plenty of options it is owned by Mega World and San Miguel Corporation so like you're gonna be getting some Mega World shops in this mini area where the 7-eleven was and I ate dinner at that trip shack last night so there will be more opening up in that area they even had that gong cha uh, milk tea place I would definitely say two thumbs up to staying in Boracay New Coast because it's like how old Boracay and the station areas used to be be when it wasn't inundated with so many people from all over the world. I remember going there in the 90s and it being just like this. The beaches were pretty empty but come here in a couple of years and let's see if they even have had other resorts in different parts of the island. They're more exclusive and harder to get to. Even though the cheaper price point is over here, it is still kind of out of the way in the main area so it would probably still deter people from staying here. But in my opinion, if you want something relaxed and you want space, this is the place to be. The Baraka New Coast is definitely like old Baraka used to be back in the 90s. Alright Jaycationers, please like, comment, subscribe. We have more coming from the Philippines. Comment down below, where have you stayed in Baraka? What islands do you plan to visit? here in the Philippines and in the future maybe I'll come back and do other islands and other resort reviews. So we'll see you in the next one. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. And in the words of me, stay traveling Pilipinas. Mahal ko kayo.